Ladies and gentlemen, what you see before you is the Chase card of Surging Sparks. This is from Supercharged Breaker, the Japanese set, but this is going to be included in the English Surging Sparks. This is the Pikachu SAR in Japanese, or in English this will be the Special Illustration Rare, or SIR. This card is the Chase, uh, as far as we know. I don't think anything else can dethrone this as the Chase. The artwork seems possibly controversial, but I absolutely love it. I absolutely love this card. I have no idea what this this is going to do. If the, uh, the pull rates are the same, because this is a huge set, this is going to be extremely difficult to pull. If that's the case, this card could potentially go crazy. Uh, and I'm saying that because of the hype. The hype around the set, uh, it seems fairly hyped. So this is this is the card. Um, yeah, so we, we have it now. Um, let me know in the comments. Do you like it, hate it, or you're neutral? Um, let me know. But this is where we're at. Also, um, there are other cards, obviously, that were revealed. We'll take a look. We've seen this one before. Um, this is the uh, Secret Rare for the Japanese, uh, which I thought was a cool-looking card, too. And I was interested to see where they took it from there. And they didn't take it that much further, but it is better. So, And the difficulty. So, And then here's just the EX, right? So uh, that was that was revealed. Um, let's see. We also have, we have a Mez Spirit um, AR uh, Art Rare, which would be a... IR in English. Cool looking card. Um, other than that, we just have some basic cards being announced. We still, There's still more to the set, right? So we still haven't seen it all. Um, we got a Milotic SAR. So uh, this card's pretty cool too. Milotic, uh, Milotic? Milotic. I always said Milotic. Um, SAR, which will be SIR in English. Super cool looking card. I like that too. So there's two two SIRs there. We also have uh, an AR in Japanese or an IR. I wish they would just make them the same for English and Japanese in the future. Maybe they will. Uh, the Phoebus. Phoebus. Um, great looking artwork, like always. Artworks always in this era has been amazing. So um, yeah, just po Pokemon for me. Um, eh. But uh, cool card. We got the uh, Skullvalian, Skullvalian um, EX here. Uh, there you go. Um, we got some other basic cards that have been announced, and uh, nothing that's really doing it for me. But so on top of that, we also had some more news. We have okay. So this is coming. Uh, all of this information is from Poke Beach, by the way. Um, they are a great news website, so feel free to check them out. But this artwork right here. This is a. Pikachu artwork that is exclusive to this Chinese set. Take a look. Absolutely awesome card. Super, super cool. There's there's a Charizard down here. You almost didn't even see it. So, um, it's going to come in this box. Um, the box is right here. And you get the promo, and you get some other cards. Um, looks like Sword and Shield era mostly, but yeah. So a lot of cards we've seen already. Um, but yeah, so you're getting the Big Dog promo, and this is all that you're getting. So um, very interesting. So 15 stamped promo cards commemorating Sun and Moon, Sword and Shield, and Scarlet and Violet eras. Um, each of them are playable cards from those eras. The box will also include a keychain, deck box, card sleeves, card storage box, and a booster box of Supercharged Breaker. Um, practical cost, about $88. So, $88 for this box to get this promo. I'll be very interested to see what this promo does, what this promo does in PSA 10, how many are out there. I think it's a super cool card, personally. Um, and it definitely has, like, the crowns from the era, so, um, with the stamp, so, 
this is, this is very cool, I think. So yeah, does it? They don't say the release date on this bad boy. Um, oh, I apologize. October twenty fifth. Um, so yeah, that might be something that I might be looking to pick up. I don't normally pick up Chinese cards, but uh, either singles or I might just pick up this box, a few copies. I don't know. We'll see where the cards go. So um, that'll be interesting right there. Also, we have some other news. I mean, we've seen this before, but now we have the confirmed uh, English. So we have the uh, the Latios here, the illustration rare. So you can see it in full English. We've seen it in Japanese, but... Um, and the Latias uh, SIR. So, um, yeah, cool looking cards. I, I love these cards too. These are the connected art cards that... Uh, they, it seems they've been doing that in every set for a while now. Um, cards that, you know, form a picture together. And I think that is super cool. Uh, great for collectors. P people are going to want to... You get one, you're going to want the other, right? So uh, I think that's awesome. Um, on top of that, we have some... A little bit more news from uh, Supercharged Breaker. So this is from Japan. Um, I don't know how much of this stuff is going to go to English. We usually don't get it all, so... But, um, so we have a Pikachu deck box, obviously. Have to have that, right? So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's get rid of this ad here. Um, we got some sleeves, which are pretty cool. Um, just was in Japan, they had a lot of cool sleeves um, at the Pokemon Center there, so that was awesome to see. Um, we got the uh, Ampharos uh, sleeves as well, which are cool. I like that. I like the uh, the vibe here. It's chill. Um, deck box as well. And then you got the Slack Off um, with the Fue Coco. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, and you got sleeves. You got the Milotic sleeves. Gosh, some more sleeves. Lots of cool sleeves. Ooh, this one has a lot going on. This is very fun. Okay, so we got some fun sleeves. And yeah, some more fun sleeves. So that is about it that's been announced. Um, I feel like they're I feel like they're taking a while to uh, to get some of this stuff announced. But um, real quick, I just want to end the video talking about this. We're coming back to the Pikachu because I'm not. I want I want to say that I'm not I'm not trying to hype this set up um, like personally. I just I'm trying to relay some information about this set. Uh, it's not hard to see. Go on YouTube, go on Reddit, go on Facebook groups. Uh, it seems like th it's not like universally loved. Not everybody's loving this set, but a lot of people are in on Surging Sparks. And if this is the big dog chase card, like I said before, with the pull rates, if the pull rates stay, uh, you know, with what they are, have been, this will be extremely difficult to pull. And an extremely popular Pokemon, where I would say, comparatively, the artwork is probably not Greninja status, but more popular Pokemon, debatable, but I think you could say that, right? Pikachu's kind of one of the goats uh, when it comes to popularity. A lot of people don't like the crowns, but that, you know, that doesn't necessarily mean anything absolutely adorable card um everything is just vibing with the rainbow this card could i mean it has the potential to definitely be in that 180 200 dollar range uh but if the set gets as hyped and sells as many boxes um like some people are saying uh that have like distributor access which i do not have so Please keep in mind that some of this is secondhand information I'm hearing from other people. Um, so I cannot confirm it, but I'm hearing, I've heard that uh, there is a lot of orders going out for more more than like all the last sets. Um, so, and things have been ramping up since Twilight. And I feel like they're kind of building potentially to this moment. And what we could see with uh, both the booster boxes and this card is some FOMO. If the boxes kind of take off and they don't really drop to where some of the others 
if they stay like over 110 and like quickly gain and this card if this card does 200 out the gate and just like climbs um there could be a lot of fomo around this card because this is going to be extremely difficult to pull so that is what i wanted to make this video about pretty much i, I mean we touched on some other news but i wanted to make it solely about this guy right here about the pikachu because i think there are some big implications um this could this could potentially shake up scarlet and violet era for the highest value card um greninja could get pushed off the throne with this potentially um all of this is yet to be seen uh i say this also like nobody nobody can know the market and anybody who says that they do for certain um is either just guessing or they're lying um because at this point it, it, we can only make like, so many like educated decisions on everything um and like twilight has shown us the market is going to do what the market's going to do um you never know uh, i did see an interesting article relating to the greninja on tcg player they were talking about uh, the greninja buyout saying that potentially one single person may have started that greninja buyout and created that hype uh, on tcg and then it just just took off right so um with that being a factor um buyouts manipulation it does happen um i just we can't know to like what extent per se but yeah um i i could see this card getting manipulated um and i could see this card just taking off on its own and i could see this card being mid um if i had to bet if i had to put my money um i would see it and it's really tough i guess i would have to guess pushing pushing close to and or overtaking the greninja possibly that's where i would put my money on it personally uh just from the the aura around the set the hype so um i'm a bit rambling i feel like i'm just kind of saying some of the same things but um i just wanted to get that point across of where we're at this is where we're at we know what the chase is now we've seen it okay so you can make your guys's um decisions based off of that um i pre-ordered more cases than i usually do personally for this set i had a feeling the pikachu card was going to be big um some people were comparing this i saw without even seeing the card which is definitely unfair um to vivid voltage different era different times different arts i, I don't think you can compare that there i don't think that there is any way that this is a vivid voltage set just it's not going to be guys so um i'm not saying it's going to be evolving skies i'm just saying it's not going to be vivid voltage it's going to be better okay um that much we know we've seen the cards the cards are way better the pikachu's way better the other cards are better um so that's vivid voltage or not vivid voltage um surging sparks and some other news yeah that other pikachu card the chinese one super cool um so that is what we have um yeah um what else i think that's it i think that's it that's all i wanted to touch on um if you guys are this far in the video and you're not already subscribed um do yourself a huge favor and hit the subscribe button because i do daily pokemon collecting and investing content uh news everything so yeah so you guys can stay up to date on prices card releases everything um this was a i think it was the third video i recorded today batch recording a little bit because i'm going to be traveling again unfortunately and i think because of the news i'm gonna i'm gonna slot this one in might be the first one that goes out but uh we'll see so yeah let me know what you guys think of the pikachu the surging sparks everything uh the chinese card uh let me know what your guys thoughts are um but that's gonna do it for this one i'll catch you in the next one and remember it was never a phase